So hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to make your own virtual private network under VPN here. So all you would do was here write settings or just write VPN in fact and you will see VPN settings and you click on it and it will bring you straight here. So here is a list of VPNs. We're going to add a German one or a Polish one. We do a Poland one. Let's go from Poland and add a VPN connection. So in the moment I only have Windows built in. I don't have a paid VPN provider, so that's free. The connection name is uh, Poland VPN and the server name or address is this PL. 226.vpnbook.com you can go to vpnbook.com to get these yeah vpn type you have to put point to point tunneling username and password you don't have to put it but if you don't it'll ask you to log in anyway afterwards so best to just put it and remember the tutorial i saw on this whoops the tutorial i saw on this said you don't have to which means every time you go in afterwards you have to put it so here is the password and this is from the very kind people at vpnbook.com unfortunately browsers are starting to so now i have the poland vpn yeah so we're going to go to connect to the poland Make sure I'm not connected to any of the others. I'm not. So this is completing the connection. Allow VPN while roaming. I'm not sure about these two settings. But uh, your Wi-Fi has to be on first. So what you do first is you connect to your network and then as you can see, I, I am in connected to Poland. So let's just say where am I now. In Brave, Brave always tells people you're somewhere else anyway. But let's have a look. I've got shields turned off. Now I've got shields up, but let's see what it says with shields up. My location. My location. Denied by browser. So let's take the shields off. Yeah. And refresh. No, it's going. It's analyzing. Let's just refresh. This website isn't very good, by the way. Geolocation status. This is Brave Browser, so it denies anyway. But where am I? I'll show you in Edge, but my Edge is set to Mexico. I've tricked it into thinking I'm into Mexico, so that might get confusing. Where am I? Google my maps. Yeah. Did we do that? So this says now, this one always says I'm somewhere in between the Netherlands and Switzerland. This website does not work. It's not good. Although it can't see me anyway. Hey, look, where are my translation into French? Why? Where am I dot org? Have we done that? No. Nope. Where am I dot org? Where am I? Maps.google.uk. So this says I'm in America. My location. Yeah. This is a Polish server. What's my IP? T. 
So I'm using this Polish server. And don't forget, all you need is this, which I will post in the, whoops. Always make sure these things are off. Look, they've hidden something here. They've hidden something there. There. Okay. Seven exit. So this says I am in France. Yeah. So let's change. Let, let's try Microsoft Edge. Where am I? You see, it says I'm in France. It's coming up in French language. Okay. Confirmer la sélection. This is in French. Which, if I want, it can change back to Mexico but let's it thinks I'm in France which I don't know why because I'm using the Polish server yeah so let's just where am I the Polish server obviously is going through this is edge uh, collaborating with Google to get us to teach the AI of Google what cars look like come on stop showing me ducking cars no cars there can't see any cars come on i hate that that's not to secure things that's just to help you teach google deep Mind. so look i'm in france where am i I'm in France. So why am I in France? Because I'm using the Polish VPN. So let's just go to uh, the US VPN server and connect here and go to America, right? If you want to watch Hulu or uh, not OBS, what is it? HBO? OBS, that's a screencasting. So we're connecting to US 2 dot vpnbook.com we have us1 and us2 i have two us yeah can't connect so i have a problem with the vpn's transmission you see this hidden network appears sometimes that is appears on windows sometimes but in my case it's people outside in a car with a notebook trying to hack me so connect back to my network and we're going to do a us1 vpn verifying your sign in i think the us is the white house one maybe they're blocking it because it appears right in the middle of the white house unbelievable that one of these servers is actually appears to be in the white house I'm not sure if it's this one. Yeah, where am I? See your current location. So I'm in the southern United States. I'm in southern United States on this one. Ah, oh, this is the good website. CTRLQ.org. So let's have a look where I am. Look where I am. How can I be in the southern United States? Right in the middle of the White House, which looks more or, more or less, jeez, you'd have to look what office is that in the White House. There's the White House lawn. Here's the White House lawn. So what's here in the White House? I'd like to know. I, I doubt this is in the, the White House, but wow. Let's try latitude and longitude in a new tab. Just see what happens. The location of the White House is located at latitude. Da, 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 da. Inside plan. 
and say plan of White House. Tall? Yeah, they do have. Let's have a quick look. I will show you how to make a VPN, but being uh, like social engineering and have an investigative mind. The Oval Office is not inside the main building, so it's the entrance hall. It's in the entrance hall. Where are we here? It's in the entrance hall of the White House, entering through the North Portico. Or the Cross Mall, so you have to go through the South Portico, the Blue Room, the Cross Mall, into the entrance hall. The family dining room, the state dining room, the exit room, the courts, definitely. But which floor is it on? Who knows? Who knows? But it looks like it's in the entrance hall, in the vestibule. It's in the vestibule, ante room, family dining room. Stair hall. This is bedroom, green room. Jesus, this is in the president's office. This is in the president's floor. Appears to be, anyway. <coughs> so, we could look here. No, we couldn't. We could. Sorry. We could look. Jesus, this server. How can that be a server in the White House? How can that be a server in the White House? How can that be a server in the White House? How can that be a server in the White House? Well, anyway, that was the webmaster showing you how to do VPN servers. I'm going to do a Canada. Whoops, sorry. I'll do a Canada server for you. VPN provider, here's how you do it. Windows built in. Connection name. Canada 222. There's the server name or address. Point to point tunneling. That might be okay actually too. I'll try that later. But you should put point to point tunneling. So username. VPN book. And password bzu7884. And it's, of course, it's a bit slow because everybody's using it, but it's a free VPN and they're giving more server names as time goes. So let's now go to Canada, where Poland. Uh, oh, I was connected to France. No, I was connected to US, sorry. Which is why I was in the White House. Cancel it. I nearly removed it. So let's go to Canada, yeah? Connect to Canada. Verifying my sign in. I'm not sure if I should allow while roaming. BZU, BZU, 78X4. They might have changed this. The PPP link. Point to point. So let's try secure socket. It's not working, huh? Let's try. Canada 222 is not working. So this server has been compromised, I believe. 
Or I've tried the HTTPS connection now. It might not accept a HTTP tunneling. But it looks like no. Looks like this Canada one is not. So let's try Canada 1.98. This is not doing it. It's not doing it. It says I'm in where I am, which is in Thailand, yeah? So, switch that off. That's not working. It's not cancelling either. What I'm worried about a little bit is, uh, look, it's frozen. So, don't use this Canada one. 